For the bottom fixture installation, we will start by inserting the fixture onto the tester interface. The fixture has got two slide rails which will guide itself onto the tester interface. Slide in the fixture smoothly and the fixture will maximize its travel using the fixture stopper which is located on the fixture chassis itself. At the back of the test system, there will be a fixture position sensor. This sensor will detect the fixture presence and upon the fixture position, it allows the user to perform the fixture lock operation. So once the user, user slides in the fixture, the sensor gets triggered and the fixture can be locked down onto the test system. Let's use the DOT next to position the conveyor width so that the DOT can travel smoothly on the conveyor. This is the fixed rail which is nearer to the operator side and then the movable rail is on the far end of the system. The movable rail can be controlled by this blue knob um, on the front itself. So let's place the DOT onto one side of the, of the conveyor, adjust the blue knob so that the DOT slides smoothly along the conveyor and once the width is determined, just lock down the conveyor. Next, let's move away the board stopper so that it doesn't interfere with the support plate when the conveyor is being lowered down onto the fixture. On the support plate, you can see that there are clearers designed into the support plate and this is to allow for the board stopper to move down and not hit the support plate. Let's remove the DOT, close the door and press the fixture engage button to engage the fixture. Once the fixture is engaged, press the conveyor down button to move the conveyor down. Conveyor goes down. All right, let's move forward to adjust the board stopper position. For this, we need the DOT to be placed back onto the test fixture. Okay, and then just move the board stopper such that it touches the DOT edge and secure them in place. You can also choose to move the slowdown sensor to determine the position where the board will start to slow down before the DOT hits the board stopper. Once that's done, close the door back up and you can move the conveyor up down a few times just to confirm that the board position is correct. So let's look at the top press mechanics. On the top press, there are two guide rails one on each side to guide the top fixture into the press. And there are multiple screw holes located on both sides to, se to secure the fixture onto the top press. So now let's insert the top fixture onto the press itself. So grab hold of the top fixture, align it to the two guide guide rails on the top and simply slide the whole fixture in. Once the fixture is being inserted, the next thing that you need to do is to connect the VTAP MUX cable which is located at the back of the system. With the top fixture securely fastened onto the top press and the VTAP cable connected correctly, the next step to do is to lower the press down and perform an alignment of the top press onto the bottom fixture. Press the down button to move the press down slowly. Move the press down to a position whereby the tooling pins is very close in engaging the fixture. Right now, what you need to do is to manually move the top fixture and attempt to align it so that the four tooling pins on the top fixture goes down correctly onto the bottom fixture. And when all the alignment is confirmed, lower the fixture down fully 
and finally secure the top fixture with the screws provided to the top press. Thank you for listening to the Agilent i1000D how-to videos. You may find other Agilent i1000D videos in the Agilent MFG Tests YouTube channel. If you'd like to learn more about the i1000D, please call your local Agilent representative or go to the website at www.agilent.com slash find slash i1000.